In today's episode, I want to show you how to create a high ticket offer that people happily pull out their credit card to buy from you, even if they're a complete stranger. You get to make the decision of how you're going to position your business. Bentley was never cheap. Rolls Royce was never cheap. Gucci was never cheap. Louis was never cheap. They didn't start out selling cheap and then increase their price. They decided, I want to position myself as a luxury brand. You determine how you want to position yourself. So pricing is a form of brand positioning. Your most expensive bill is what you don't know. So as an infopreneur or in the e-learning space, you are bailing them out of that bill. You're, cut, you're slashing their expense of what they don't know and speeding up the time. So what you sell is a vehicle to get someone from where they are to where they want to be. Don't miss this. How much you charge is a vehicle to get you from where you are to where you want to be. <laughs> if you're watching this video, you're about to make a whole lot of money. Welcome back to another episode of Monetize with Marcus. Listen, my goal of this podcast is to show every coach and entrepreneur how can you make more, work less, fire yourself and hire your funnel and let it do the work, right? How can you automate that whole process? So every episode, I want to show you ways that you can drastically grow your business using marketing tactics and sales funnels. Now, in today's episode, I really want to dig into how to create a high ticket offer. And you might have heard that term before high ticket offer now for some people that's three to ten thousand dollars right but today let's just have a conversation let's just go from 1k to as high as you you comfortable charging right so let's talk about creating those offers that people pull out their credit card and buy from you now one of the things i hear a whole lot from people when they're creating an offer they say things like well starting out i want to charge blank and they have some low amount and then they say but later on i'm going to increase my price here's what i would say to you you get to make the decision of how you're going to position your business Bentley was never cheap. Rolls Royce was never cheap. Gucci was never cheap. Louis was never cheap. They didn't start out selling cheap and then increase their price. They decided, I want to position myself as a luxury brand. When you are selling online, you make the decision of where do you want to position yourself. So best example I can give you, you hear this term traffic a whole lot. When we start talking about traffic, like driving traffic to a website, driving traffic to your sales page, driving traffic, it's just talking about the, the people that are on a particular place on the internet. So what I would say to you is if you were on Rodale Drive, Rodale Drive, that's an expensive place where all the stores there are expensive. What I'm saying to you is your pricing is how you position yourself on that same street, right? So you determine where do you want to position yourself in the market? Do you want to position yourself as everything's a dollar, as Ross, as Marshalls, or do you want to position yourself as a luxury brand that provides luxury service? Let's use a strip. If you're on a strip for the beach and you've got Spring Hill Suites, you got Marriott, I mean, excuse me, Spring Hill Suites, you got Renaissance Hotel, Ritz Carlton, you determine how you want to position yourself. So pricing is a form of brand positioning that you are positioning yourself as a brand to determine this is what I'm worth. This is this is the primary service. So I want to talk about two different things that you're going to think about when you're creating a high ticket offer. Okay. First thing you're going to think about when you're creating a high ticket offer, number one, please write this down. Like this is this is school right now. You ready? <laughs> this is school. The thing that most people never think about is that uh, the first thing that happens is when you're selling anything, especially in terms of information where you're packaging your information into the form of a course, for those of us that are info entrepreneur, in, infopreneurs, entrepreneurs that package, market, and sell information that helps add value to people's lives, right, or those of us who, who realize we're in the e-learning space, that we are the people that are helping people mitigate the expense of what they don't know. Like you already know, your most expensive bill is what you don't know. So as an infopreneur or in the e-learning space, you are bailing them out of that bill. You're, cut, you're slashing their expense of what they don't know and speeding up the time. So what you're selling is a vehicle to get someone from where they are to where they want to be. Right. So anytime you're packaging um, a course, an ebook, a program, a mastermind, a two day, uh, an intensive, a boot camp, did any type of digital product, mini course, you name it, you are packaging a vehicle that they can get in that takes them from where they are to where they want to be. So if where they are is unhealthy, let's talk about relationships, right? If they're in a relationship that is unhealthy and they're trying to figure out, let's say if you're a father trying to figure out how to re-enter into your child's life after being incarcerated. If I teach that in terms of infopreneur, I'm now taking you from where you are, just leaving out of prison, wanting to reenter my life, 
and getting you where you want to be, teaching you the skills of what to say, how to build the relationship, how to not rush it, how to be sensitive, how to learn to listen. Right. That's a vehicle. If I'm out of shape and the vehicle that I have is a vehicle to get you from being out of shape to in shape, that's from where you are to where you want to be. If the thing that I teach is those that are in debt, how to get out of debt, how to save money, reinvest money and multiply their money to become wealthy, what, no matter how much they make, that's a vehicle. So I want you to see it. If I'm a mindset coach, credit repair coach, if I run ads, any of those things are vehicles to get someone from where they are to where they want to be. So what you sell is a vehicle to get someone from where they are to where they want to be. Don't miss this. How much you charge is a vehicle to get you from where you are to where you want to be. <laughs> right. So what what you're selling to them is a vehicle for them. How much you charge is a vehicle for you. Now, you want to make sure that you package when we talk about high ticket offers, you want to package your vehicle that you can get to your destination as fast as possible. You want to package your program, your products, your services to get them a result as fast as possible. So this is how you grow a business. People will happily pull out their credit card and pay you if your vehicle that works for you and their vehicle that works for them is one and the same. So if I can help a person learn how to build an online business, package a course, automate it, set up a sales funnel and run ads to it. If I can do that in 30 days, I just gave them an airplane. I didn't give them a regular vehicle. I gave them a vehicle that now they can get into it. I'm in control of navigating it, and I get them to their destination. Now, how many of you realize that the bus, a bus ticket is cheaper than a plane ticket? Because the bus takes longer, and you're on the bus with everybody else, seeing what they're saying, and have to make pit stops. This is what it's like when you try to learn just using YouTube, Google, and social media. You're on a bus making pit stops on, uh, with information that don't work. But in a plane, you don't have responsibility of where it end up. The pilot has a skill set that no one on the plane has to get you from where you are to where you want to be. That's what a good program does. When you create an offer, a person is trusting you to map out the destination and to be able to navigate their obstacles, their shortcomings, their learning. If I'm a pilot, I got to be able to navigate in bad weather and good weather. That's what it's like when you create an offer. You're creating something that gets someone from where they are to where they want to be as fast as possible. Let's use this airplane example. Why is that so powerful? Because in the airplane, the person is seeing things from a perspective they've never seen before. When you create a high ticket offer, you ought to expose a person to things they haven't learned before. What I teach is sales psychology, marketing psychology, brand story, brand positioning, how to create an offer, how to launch it. So we teach a six step launch process. A person now sees right away the power of messaging. They even know how to drive sales, how to drive traffic. They understand how to get in front of their audience. So immediately now they're seeing their business from a different perspective. They're not just seeing it as something that they sell. They're going to spend more time learning the customer journey of their clients, right? So that's the airplane. So when we're talking about pricing, I want you to think about what price is a vehicle to get you to your income goal as fast as possible. If you know you're trying to get to $10,000 a month, would you rather take the bus and charge people $37 for an ebook? Or would you rather charge $1,000 so you only need 10 people to get you there? Now, if now here's the power of pricing. The more you charge, the more comfortable you are giving your clients everything. So it's a win for them and a win for you. The less you charge, the only thing you're trying to do is as soon as you sell one person, run and sell somebody else. Because you gave them a vehicle to get them there, but you don't have a vehicle in pricing to get you there. So now you don't serve your clients. Undercharging cheats your clients. The more you charge, the more time you can spend with your clients. If you pay me a certain amount of money, I, let's say my income goes $10,000 and I charge $5,000. I only take two clients a month. My whole calendar is empty and I can spend as much time as possible with my two clients to get them a result faster. See what I'm saying? Pricing is a vehicle. It's a vehicle for you and the vehicle for your clients is the actual thing you're selling them. So here's what I want you to think about. Two questions. What type of vehicle do I want to create? And how much is the vehicle? That's all I want you to think about today. What type of vehicle do I want to create? Do I want to create a vehicle for my clients that allows them the opportunity to access the information without me? That's a course. Do I want to create a vehicle that I hold their hand and walk them through it? That might be an intensive or a two-day or a one-day or a virtual VIP or a VIP session, right? You're just thinking about what type of vehicle. Do you want to give your actual time or your information? How much is that vehicle going to cost? Okay. 
Now, uh, and and a few other videos after this, I might eventually go into how you how you create an income goal and how you map it out to guarantee that you hit your income goal. It's going to be really dope. But this has been another episode. I hope you got value out of this. This is how you create a high ticket offer. You just think through the process I just walked you through. And once you choose that vehicle, a vehicle for your clients and a vehicle for yourself, they will happily pull out their credit card and pay you top dollar. I'll see you in the next episode. Make sure you like comment and share because I or subscribe. You, know, you, you might be watching this and you're not subscribed. What are we doing? I want to make sure you do not miss any of these episodes. I will see you in the next episode of Monetizing Marcus.